Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and let's celebrate him again for no, answering so prayer. Indeed, he's a prayer answering God. We thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you this night. Thank you for answering our prayers. Is somebody celebrating him this evening? Thank you for all you have done. You answered us as an individual and as a commission. Thank you for so far you have helped us. If it has not been you who is on our side, it would have been a different story. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. Thank you for this great nation. Thank you for the leadership of this nation. Thank you for this privilege given to us to meet as a church. Blessed be your holy name. 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 We thank you. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, Yakata la bala 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 ndolo boshi akabali aba. Eyo li akabala ndolo bonde lindo londo lo bakata li bala ba. E bo akaba shokete balando li bala. E boaka baba balande li bala boaka toshi ala bala ba. E boa li a baba lando lo boshi a kaba bali bala bala ba. Ayo li a kaba lando boeke toli aba. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus, we have given thanks. Somebody excited to be here, shout a louder amen. amen. And I want us to pray again. Also giving him thanks. For the government of this nation. There are many nations who have just five cases of coronavirus confirmed in their country and the bank services. Some are doing you don't move again. Kuna mataifa mengi ambao wameona dalili chache tu ya wagonjwa wa corona na wamezuia ibada. Many nations today nobody gather the way we gather. Mataifa mengi hawakutaniki kama tunavyokutanika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we thank God. Lakini sisi tunamshukuru Mungu. Listening to the president last Sunday at Dodoma. Jumapili iliyopita tukimsikia rais huko Dodoma. I see president speaking faith to his people. Tulimsikia rais akizungumza imani kwa watu wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God all the glory for the leadership Tum, of this. Tukuze Mungu kwa uongozi. Wa taifa hili. Thank you Jesus. Sante Yesu. For the president. Kwa raisi. And all the prime minister and everyone in government. Na kwa mawazile. For the wisdom you serikali. gave to them not to bounce services. Kwa ekima uliopatia. Lord in this nation. Because hili. of coronavirus. Kwa sababu ya ugonjwa huwa. That we can gather to pray. We can gather to worship Sasa, you. Sasa tunaweza kusanyika kuomba. We thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the direction. Sante you gave to them. We celebrate your holy name. Oh thank you. Thank you. I'm not allowed to have us to spread. Oh Lord, in the land of Tanzania, we give you all the glory. 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 Thank you for your message that endure forever. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Elo shiakaba la kote shula ba la baliba. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a louder amen. Amen. And we are going to pray. We pray that prayer again. We are going to make a declaration. Tuliomba ilo ombi la kitu akonda kutamka. We are going to speak to the land of Tanzania. Tukakonda kuitamkia ile nchi ya Tanzania. The Bible says in Jeremiah, chapter 27, verse 23, verse 23. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. He said, O H, hear ye the word of the Lord. We're going to speak to the land. Telling the land, hear the word of the Lord. And talking about Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Chapter 22, verse 29. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. We're going to speak to the land of Tanzania. Reject this 
plague called coronavirus. It shall not spread in this land. This land swallowed this up today. Lift up your voice and speak to the ground. Oh, ye the land of Tanzania, hear ye the word of the Lord. Coronavirus will not have its hold in this land. It will spread no more in this land. It will spread no more in this land. It will spread no more in this land. We speak to the land, reject it. It shall not have its foothold in this land. Wherever you are and connected to this service today, all our brothers in Mbagala, the ones in city center and in Basin, Wherever you are connected, speak to the land of Tanzania. Reject this coronavirus. In the name of Jesus, no one who oh, that step his or her foot in this land shall be a victim. In the name of Jesus, somebody speak. The Bible says you shall declare a thing and God will establish it. Le shokato bela shulia baba. Le brakabo li kabo aliaba. O brekatolia. We speak to the... Length and breadth of this land. Reject this virus, it shall not come near your people. It is swallowed up. It is swallowed up in victory. It's swallowed up in victory. It's swallowed up in victory. Lord, back to the Luba. Eshuka, Balan de Lebo. Eshua, the land of the Katusha. Alan de Lebo, Kabashuli Ababa. Ebra Kaboshia. Oh, ye at here, ye the word of the Lord. Oh, you shall spread no more, you us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you are caused from your root. You are caused from your root. You are caused from your root. Be we that now in the name of Jesus. This land will not accommodate you. This land will not let you. Oh, back your Lord and leave this land. Back your Lord and leave this land. Oh, ya kababa baliba, ya kababa liya, o breke toshi alaba, aliya baba shaka toli alaba, o breke to bele alaba, ishu kata lando lobo shi akaba, ayuli akaba likando lobo shi alaba, o brelia, we speak to the length and breadth of this land. Oh, he shall not have his foothold in this land. It is swallowed up in victory. It is swallowed up in victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say a louder amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. In Genesis 18, verse 26, Abraham asked God a question. Say, will you destroy the righteous? He said, what if you find 50 righteous? Will you destroy the righteous with the wicked? And God said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, then, I will spare all the place for their sake. We are going to pray and say, Father, for the sake of the righteous, the elect, deliver mankind from the scourge of coronavirus. Deliver mankind wherever they are in any country. For the sake of the righteous, for the sake of the elect. Deliver mankind from this scourge of coronavirus. Lift up your voice and pray. For the sake of the righteous in every nation. Deliver every nation from the scourge of coronavirus. They say you will not destroy the righteous because of the wickedness of the wicked. By your mercy, deliver. Oh Lord, the mankind. Oh, delivered mankind from this cause. For the sake of the righteous in every nation. For the sake of the righteous in Africa. For the sake of the righteous in America. For the sake of the righteous in Asia. For the sake of Russia in evil. For the sake of righteous in Australia. In all the uttermost part of the earth. For the sake of the righteous. Deliver mankind. 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 From the scourge of the coronavirus. For the sake of the righteous. We shook at our labor. Bando pe kato shia kaba, alando bolia kaba, la kato liaba, eshu ke tu lando pe ka liba, eshu kaba ba lando, e bolika taka telia baba laba, 
Ayulia Kaba, Landoloboshia, Eshu Ketula, Makutianda, Pakatutia. For the sake of the righteous in this land, deliver all inhabitants of the earth. Look, Rekaboshia, Alandoli Obelia Kaboshia Baba, Lia Kaba, Lia Kaba. Lord, we pray, we ask for the sake of the elect, deliver the entire mankind. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hand and appreciate him. Wave your hand and appreciate him. Sanctuary at a time like this. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Speak to your people, Jesus. And as the word of faith go forth, let every spirit of fear check out of anyone's life. Here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' glorious name.
it is my year of breaking limit then what eyes have not seen or ear heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020 congratulations hallelujah hallelujah please have your seat in his presence you are welcome i welcome you to this Midweek Miracle Communion Service. And welcome all our brethren in Mbagala's Fellowship Center, in City Center, and also in Mbezi. And everyone connected to this service today, wherever you are, you are welcome. And I know that God will meet you at the point of your need today. As this word of faith goes forth, God will give you victory. Mungu atakupa ushindi. Victory over every challenge of your life. Ushindi dhidi ya kila changamoto za Somebody say a louder amen. Baza amen. It was not a coincidence, but it was a divine arrangement. Haikuwa tu, haikutokea tu lakini likuwa ni mpango wa kiunga. That we began this month with fight a good fight of faith. Tumeanza na mwezi huu pigana vita vizuri vya imani. As our team of the month. Kama tamko letu la mwezi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are already in a fight. Tayari tuko katika vita. The fight against coronavirus is a very wonderful is a very very serious fight. Vita dhidi ya corona na ni vita kali. And God knew God have a people out with fight with faith for fight. Na Mungu ametuvika imani ili tupigane. You need to fight to be alive. Unahitaji upigane ili uwe hai. fight. Unahitaji upigane. To command victory over every challenges of life. Ili uweze kushinda changamoto zote za maisha. And our teaching series is understanding how to build your faith for a fight. Na somo letu linasema kuelewa namna ya kujenga imani yako kwa vita. Understanding how to build your faith. Namna ya kuelewa kujenga imani yako kwa mapigano. There is a fight. Kuna mapigano. And this is a fight of faith. Na haya ni mapigano ya imani. And the faith you carry matters a lot. Na imani ulionayo ina maana sana. You can be defeated with a little faith. Unaweza ukashindwa ukiwa na imani ndogo. But you cannot be defeated with great faith. Lakini ukiwa na imani kubwa hauwezi kushindwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The subject of faith is important and a time like this. Somo la imani ni muhimu sana nyakati kama hizi. That the world is facing the worst crisis they have never seen before concerning their health. Ambao ulimwengu unapitia majanga makubwa ambao hawajawahi kuyaona. They have have humble even strong nations. Ambao imeatiisha na kuya kuatishia ile mataifa makubwa. Many of them don't know what to do. Mataifa mengi hajui nini cha kufanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But our eyes is on the Lord. Lakini macho yetu yanamtazama Bwana. And with that faith Bila iman, we can move him to stop this plague. Hatosi kumfanya yeye azuie ile pigo. With faith God will not be involved. Pasipo imani Mungu hawezi kuhusika. Because Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. Kwa sababu Hebrewia 11:6. So without faith it is impossible to please God. Kwa sababu pasipo imani uwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. In other words without faith it is impossible to move him. Kwa maneno mengine pasipo imani hawezi kumfanya Mungu aje. Because please God is move. Kwa sababu kwa imani Mungu huwa anakuja. We need faith now more than ever before. Tunahitaji imani kuliko wakati mwingine wote sasa. If we keep quiet, tukikaa kimya. If we just hold our peace, tukitulia tu. This virus who keep on causing havoc in the earth. Ugonjwa utaendelea kututeketeza. But that's why we are fighting. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz hallelujah. The good news is that God have already given us victory. Habari njema ni kwamba Mungu ameshatupa ushindi. Somebody that believe a shout a louder here. Tuamini paz amen. Understand that faith is the most potent force in the universe. Fahamu kwamba imani ni nguvu kubwa ulimwenguni kote. That's why anywhere you put a man of faith. Ndio maana popoto kimweka mtu wa imani. He will succeed not withstanding trials. Atashinda pasipo vikwazo vivyo. One thing I know about faith. Moja ya kitu ambayo nafahamu kuhusu imani. There's no fear trials. Haina hofu. He rejoices at trials. Inafurahia majaribu. He shine with trials and temptations. Inashinda kwenye majaribu. In fact, trials, challenges and temptations are food of faith. Changamoto na majaribu ndio chakula cha imani. He uses them to shine. Na vitumia hivyo kushinda. That's why when you put a man of faith anywhere. Ndio maana ukimweka mtu wa imani mahali popote. Standing what is happening. Bila kujali anayotokea. He or she shall not fail. Hatoshindwa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz hallelujah. He takes faith to dominate. Inahitaji imani kutawala. He takes faith to dominate coronavirus. Inahitaji imani iliweza kuitawala hii corona. Remember 
no matter what is this on earth whatever no matter what is on the earth kumbuka ijalishi nini kipo duniani faith is above them imani inazidi yote that's why Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 says ndio maana Ephesians 6:16 inasema say above all inasema zaidi ya yote take the shield of faith chukwaeni ngao ya imani faith is on top of every situation imani ni iko juu ya changamoto zote you every situation changamoto imani inatisha changamoto zote we like in this corona virus as a favorite dust of the wicked tunaifananisha hii corona virus kama mishale ya ndu inatoka kuzimu it takes faith to quench it inahitaji imani ku Zuia ugonjwa. Above all taking the shield of faith. Nasema zaidi yote mkitoa ngao ya imani. Which you shall be able. Ambayo kwa hiyo mtaweza. To quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Kuizima mishale yote ya moto ya yule mungu. One of them is what we are facing in the world today. Moja hiyo mishale ndiyo tunaoipitia leo. Is faith that can humble it. Ni imani ndio inaweza kuzuia uo mshale. One thing you must know about faith. Moja ya kitu ambacho tunatakiwa kufahamu kuhusiana na imani. Is it Ni silaha ya siri that give you victory in the battles of life ambayo inakupa ushindi katika vita za maisha ni silaha ya siri that nobody can see it physically you carry it like carrying a gun ambayo hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuiona kimwili au kaiona from exploding it can stop gun from exploding inaweza kazuia bunduki isikupike it can stop bomb from exploding inaweza kazuia bomb lisilipuke is a secret weapon ni ile siraha ya siri that you need if you must be victorious in life ambao unahitaji ili ushinde kwenye maisha somebody shout hallelujah as hallelujah and not hearing a bigger hallelujah sikia hallelujah faith is the power imani ni nguvu that makes you an overcomer ambayo inakufanya wewe mshindi if the world must overcome this scourge of coronavirus kama ulimwengu unataka kushinda hii corona faith is the key Imani ndiyo funguo. Even the devil knows that. Hata shetani analifahamu hilo. And that's why he released the spirit of fear. Ndio maana anaachilia roho ya hofu. Because fear is his weapon. Kwa sababu hofu ndiyo silaha yake kubwa. You can have faith and fear at the same time. Hauwezi kuwa na imani na hofu kwa wakati mmoja. It is just like light and darkness. Ni kama nuru na giza. The devil knows. Shetani anaelewa. There we fear he can get any Christian. Kwamba kwa hofu anaweza kumpata mkristo yote. And that is why he introduced fear. Ndio maana anaachilia hofu. In order that fear he introduced is targeted at your feet. Hiyo hofu anayoachilia inalenga kuishambulia imani yako. When fear enters doubt enters and faith is cancelled. Hofu ikiingia mashaka naingia na imani inatoweka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Yohana wa kwanza 5. Say whatever that is born of God overcome the world. Kama chochote kilichozaliwa na Mungu ushinde ulimwengu. And everything the devil have introduced in the world. Na kila kitu ambacho shetani amekileta duniani. And this is the victory. Na huku ndiko kushinda. What the victory is your faith. Kile kinacholeta ushindi ni imani. Is your faith. Please imani don't yako. allow fear in your life. Usiruhusu hofu katika maisha yako. Is it in Job chapter 22 verse 25? Yohana 22:25. Job chapter 2 verse 25. Ayubu 22:25. That Job say the things I do fear. Ayubu anasema yale nilio ya hofu. The things I'm afraid of. Yale nilio ya hofu. That's the thing that have come to me. Ndiyo ambayo yamenipata. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. Check Job chapter 3 verse 25. Angalia hiyo kutatu 25. What you fear is what you attract. Kile ambacho una kihofu ndicho unakivuta kiki. That's why you should not allow fear in your life. Ndio maana usiruhusu hofu ijae katika maisha yako. You should not allow fear in your life. Usiruhusu hofu maishani mwako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I love this scripture by the Psalms. Napenda hili andiko la huyu mzaburi. In Psalm 27 verse 1. Zaburi 27:1. He said the Lord is my light and my salvation. Anasema Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Who shall I fear? Ni muogope nani? The Lord is the strength of my life. Bwana ni ngome ya uzima wangu. Of whom shall I be afraid? Ni muofu nani? Verse 2. Mstari wa 2. Verse 2. When the wicked Even my enemies and my foes came unto me to eat up my flesh. Watenda mabaya waliponikaribia wa nile nyama yangu. They stumble and fell. Watesi wangu na adui zangu walijikwaka anguka. Somebody say amen. Baza amen. He said they stumble and fell. Sema walijikwaka anguka. I have God who shall I fear? 
Ninaye Mungu ni hofu nini? You should not fear the the the, the sickness called coronavirus. Usihofu ugonjwa unaoitwa corona. You know one of the things that brings fear. Unajua moja mambo ambayo yanaleta hofu. Is the way the sickness have been magnified. Ni namna ambavyo ugonjwa unavyokuzwa. The way it have been magnified. Namna ambavyo wanaukuza ugonjwa. Check the history of sicknesses. Hebu angalie historia. Find out there are sicknesses that are common today that kills more than coronavirus. Utaona magonjwa ambayo ni ya kawaida ambayo yanaua zaidi ya corona. There are many people who have recovered from it. Kuna watu wengi ambao wamepona na hapo. Including in China. Ikijumuisha hata huko China. I had a testimony of one old woman na ushuhuda wa bibi mmoja ambaye amepona huo ugonjwa. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. I'm not here with a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. But the, the way it has been magnified. Namna ambavyo unakuzwa ugonjwa. And the agenda is to put fear. Na lengo ni kujaza hofu kwenye maisha yako. The agenda of fear is to cancel your faith. Na lengo la hofu ni kuondoa imani yako. If God heals HIV. Kama Mungu anaponya ukimwi. If God heals tuberculosis. Kama Mungu anaponya TB. Many people have, have hepatitis. Watu wengi wana homa ya ini and go heal them. Na Mungu anawaponya. The same God that healed them. Mungu yule yule anayeponya can handle coronavirus. Anaweza kashughulika na ugonjwa wa corona. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz hallelujah. The sickness is sickness. Ugonjwa ni ugonjwa. Sickness is sickness. Ugonjwa ni ugonjwa. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. Katika Mathayo 8:17. Because Jesus took it and nail it on the cross. Neno la Mungu linasema Yesu aliyachukua na akagongelea msalabani. Verse 17. Took it and nail it on the cross. Matayo 8:17 aliyachukua na akagongelea msalabani. He himself took our infirmities. Anasema yeye aliyatwa madhaifu. The corona virus was part of the infirmities Jesus. Ugonjwa wa corona ni moja ya madhaifu ambayo Yesu aliyachukua. And anyone the devil will manufacture tomorrow. Na ugonjwa wote ambao shetani atauleta kesho. Somebody shout hallelujah. Azza hallelujah. We should not be afraid of that corona virus. Tusiogope ugonjwa wa corona. Is a sickness like any other sickness. Ni magonjwa kama haya magonjwa mengine. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Baz hallelujah. I'm not hearing a big hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. If God have healed you before. Kama Mungu ameshakuponya hapo. If God have you have had a testimony of who God healed. Umesikia shughuli za kuponya. Some of the sicknesses that doctors say it cannot be healed. Magonjwa ya ajabu na sugu ambao madaktari walishindwa kuyapoti. If you have had such testimony. Kama umeshikia shughuli za aina hiyo. Happened to you before. Kama imeshatokea kwako. Even though is headache there are people who had headache and they die. Hata kama ni maumivu ya kichwa kuna watu waliumwa kichwa wakafa. I read somewhere one time many years ago that malaria kills in Africa more than HIV AIDS. Miaka mengi nilisikia kwamba malaria inaua zaidi Afrika kuliko ukimwi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. Yes, all the sicknesses also they are in the same level with coronavirus. Haya magonjwa yote hayanafanana tu na corona. We should not join them magnify it above our God. Tusiyatukuze zaidi ya Mungu wetu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. Let's tell coronavirus how big is our God. Not telling God how big is coronavirus. It is more than we have corona namna Mungu wetu alivyo mkubwa sio kumweleza Mungu namna ugonjwa wa corona ulivyo mkubwa. If we must overcome kama unataka ushinde we must despise it lazima tuudharau the devil you don't despise shetani usiye mdharau is the devil you don't overcome ni shetani usiye mshinda situation you don't despise ile hali usiye dharau is a situation you will not overcome hautoishinda see it as a common sickness hebu ona kama ni ugonjwa wa you can command with the word of your mouth na unaweza kuamuru kwa neno la kinywa chako and it will clear off your body na utaondoka mwilini mwako but for you kwako it shall not come near you and your family. Hauto kukaribia wewe na nyumba yako. I'm not hearing a louder amen. Sisikia me. It shall not come near you and your family. Hauto kukaribia wewe na familia yako. I'm not hearing a louder amen. Sisikia me. Please, there is nothing to be afraid of. Hakuna cha kuogopa. God have not given you the spirit of fear. Mungu wa jakupa roo ya ufu. He have given you the spirit of power. Ame kupa roo ya ufu. Power to tread upon scorpion and serpent and every power of the devil. Kufu ya kukanya genge na nyoka na kila nkufu za yule ya duwe. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Na kuna chochote kwa namna yote hile kibachi kutakuduru. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Timothy wa pili moja saba. And Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Na Luke kumbi kuminatisa. What is faith? Mani ni nini? Faith is a display of confidence. Imani ni kudhihirisha ujasiri. In God until the desired result is obtained. Ujasiri kwa Mungu mpaka lile tamanio na lolotaka litie. A display of confidence in God. Ni kuonyesha lolo ujasiri kwa Mungu. And his word. Na neno lake. Until your desired result is obtained. Mpaka lile tamanio au matokeo unayotarajia yametokea. You have seen what God said concerning your your 
redemptive package. Umeshaelewa leo Mungu alichosema kuhusiana na ile urithi wa ukombozi juu ya afya. And you display your confidence it doesn't matter the threat of sicknesses and diseases. Haijalishi vitisho vya magonjwa na maradhi unaonyesha ujasiri. You stand by the scripture. Unasimama kwa maandiko. Until your desire is mpaka lile tamanio lako limeachiliwa. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 35 to 39. Waebrania 10 35. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 35 and 39. Waebrania 10 35. The Bible says cast not away therefore your confidence which have a great recompense of a word. Verse 36. For you need for you have need of patience. Maana mnahitaji sabuni. But after you have done the will of God you you might receive the promise. Ili kwamba mkisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu mpate ile ahadi. Yet a little while. Kwa kuwa bado kitambo kidogo sana. He that shall come will come. Yeye ajaye atakuja. A little while the testimony you desire will come. Punde tu ule ushuhuda unaosubiri utakuja. Verse 38. Sura 38. Verse 38. Now the judge shall live by by faith. Lakini mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. But if any man draw back Naya kisita sita. My soul shall have no pleasure in Roe yangu haina furaha nae. If any man draw back. Kama mtiote kisita sita. Verse 39. Tadio 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Lakini sisi ya tumo miongoni mwao wa sitao na kukutea. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Bali tumo miongoni mwao wali ona imani ya kutuokoro. Displaying confidence until the testimony arrives. Tukionyesha ujia siri mbaka tumepokea ushuda. Not true. Today, because there is a little delay, and you don't believe again. Sio leo tu kwa sabu imekawi ya kidogo unacha. What is faith? Mani nini? Faith is being fully persuaded of the truth. Imani ni kuwa na hakika ya kweli. The prevailing circumstances now we stand in. Bila kujali mazingira ya liopo. Until the truth dry off. Mbaka yo kweli imeshinda. Being fully persuaded. Ni kuwa na hakika. That if God have said it, God is not a man that he should lie. Kama mungu wa mesema, si mwanadamu haka haungoku. I know he cannot lie to me. Najua wazi kunidangani. That was what Abraham displayed. Hivyo ndivyo Ibrahim alicho kivirisha. Romans chapter 4 verse 17 to 21 captured it. Paka 21. Abraham was fully persuaded. Ibrahim alikuwa na hakika. He was fully persuaded. The next verse. Alikuwa na hakika. That if God have said it. Kama mungu wa mesema. He is able to make it happen. Anaweza kutimiza. Verse 19 and 20. Pustari wa kuminatisa na ushiri. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Pustari wa ushiri. He staggered not at the promise of God to unbelief. Lakini ya kiona hadi ya mungu wa kusita kutukua mingi. But was strong in faith giving glory to God. Bali ya liti wangufu kwa imana kimtukuza mungu. And verse 21. Pustari wa ushiri na moja. Verse 21. Pustari wa ushiri na moja. Being fully persuaded that. Huku wa kijua hakika. What he had promised. Ya kwamba mungu aweza kufanya. He was able also to perform. Yali ya liwa hidi. That is what it means to be persuaded of the truth. Notwithstanding the prevailing circumstances, you stay until the truth triumphs. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. But how do I build my faith for a flat? We have said a lot of things, but time will not permit me to do a recap today. We have said that building your faith is a personal responsibility. No one will build your faith for you. And we have said that you need to build your faith because you don't know when your next attack will come. You don't know when your next attack will come. If you tell Every one of us. Kamu kimuambia kila mwje wetu. All the brethren around the world. Na wapendo wote ole mungu nikoto. That it will come to a time in 2020. Kama itakuja F12 na 20. Where airport will be locked up. Ambao. Churches will be locked up. Vyuanja vendege vitafungwa. Businesses of people will be locked up. They will not believe it. Vyashara Shule zitafungwa. It didn't give notice. Bila kutoa tarifa. It came suddenly. Ilikuja tu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. That's why we need to build our faith. Because we don't know when our next battle will come. We need to build our faith. Take personal responsibility. Because little faith will give you little results. Great faith will give you great results. Somebody shout hallelujah. With little faith, you might, you might give up with a little storm. A little challenge can 
blow you out of the way. Kitu kidogo kinaweza kukutoa katika njia. That's why you need to build your faith. Ndio maana unahitaji kujenga imani yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. Faith is in levels. Imani iko katika viwango. And we are not in the same level of faith every one born again. Na hatumetofautiana viwango vya imani kila aliyokuwa. The level of faith you are operating with. Kiwango cha imani ambacho unatembea wewe. Is determined by your level of input. Kinaamuriwa na kiwango cha level of your investment. Cha uwekezaji wako. In building your faith. Na jitihada zako za kujenga hiyo imani. Not about how many years you have been a Christian. Wasa wa ijalishi ni miaka mingapi umekuwa mkristo. But your ability to take responsibility. Lakini ule uwezo wako wa kuwajibika mwenyewe. To build faith. Wa kujenga hiyo imani. There are people who got born again over 10 years ago. Kuna watu wamekoka zaidi ya miaka 10. They are still in the level of no little faith. Bado kwa kiwango cha imani ndogo. There are people who got born again last year. Kuna watu ambao wamekoka mwaka uliopita. They are operating with great faith. Lakini wanatembea kwenye imani kubwa leo. Because of their level of investment. Kwa sababu ya kiwango cha uwekezaji wao katika kujenga hiyo imani. Katika kujenga hiyo imani. An investment you make in building your faith. Na ule uwekezaji ambao unaofanya kujenga hiyo imani. Investment in building your destiny. Ni ule uwekezaji wa kujenga hatima yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. As we wind up this teaching for the midweek, today is the last last Wednesday of the month. Leo ni Jumatano ya mwisho wa mwezi. Take responsibility to build your faith. Na tunapomalizia somo hili, hebu wajibika kujenga imani yako. I know that in the in the school of faith there is no graduation. Najua kwamba katika shule ya imani hakuna kuhitimu. No matter the level of faith you are operating today. Haijalishi ni kiwango gani cha imani uko leo. There is a greater level. Kuna kiwango kikubwa zaidi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. But how do I build my faith? Ninawezaje kujenga imani? Among other things we have said. Kati ya mambo mengine ambayo nimeyasema. Number 1 today. La kwanza leo. You must crave for the understanding of testimonies Embu. of others. Tamani uelewa wa shuhuda za wengine. Because testimonies are faith boosters. Kwa sababu shuhuda ni vichocheo vya imani. Understanding of testimony of others. Unapoelewa zile shuhuda za wengine. God have done this for the hard. What did he do? Mungu amemtendea huyu alifanya nini? And from there you understanding the testimony. Na kutokea hapo una uelewa huo shuhuda. Because what you can see you cannot doubt. Kwa sababu kile ambacho unakiona huwezi kukitilia shaka. Many people have been of sicknesses and diseases. Watu wengi wameponywa magonjwa na maradhi. By hearing the testimony of others. Kwa kusikia tu shuhuda za watu wengine. There are many people they have tested positive for coronavirus and they are laughing. Kuna watu wengi wamepimwa na wamekutwa na ugonjwa wa corona na wanacheka. That God healed one or two. Kwa sababu wanajua Mungu ameshawaponya. They discharged two people in Nigeria last week because they have been healed of it. Waliachiliwa watu wawili na Nigeria kwa sababu wameshaponywa na ugonjwa. And those that are affected they are only laughing. If God healed this person, my own is already settled. Na wale ambao walisikia hiyo wanajua Mungu kama ameponya haya na jambo langu limekamilika. Testimonies are faith boosters. Shuhuda ni vichocheo vya imani. There are things no one can doubt. Kuna mambo ambayo hakuna ambaye anaweza kutisha. That is why in church many people get their testimony by keen in into the testimony of others. Ndio maana watu wengi kanisani wanapokea shuhuda zao kwa kuzingatia shuhuda za wengine. Maybe you are you have been attacked with headache or migraine. Labda umeshambuliwa na ugonjwa wa kichwa. And you came to church. Na umekuja kanisani. Somebody came to the altar and shared testimony. Mtu akapanda hapa madhabahuni na akatoa ushuhuda. That he had hepatitis. Kwamba alikuwa na And he prayed to God and partake of the communion. Na akashiriki ushirika mtakatifu. Ha. Na Mungu akamponya. Of hepatitis. Na homa ya ini. By that testimony you had. Kwa ushuhuda huo uliosikia. Faith is built. Imani inajengwa. So if God will heal hepatitis. Kama Mungu anaweza kuponya homa ya ini. This migraine is a small thing. Ugonjo ni mdogo kwa. And before you could know it. Kabla hujajua. As you partake of the communion. Unaposhiriki ile meza ya Bwana. Getting into that testimony you will see migraine gone. Ukiushikilia ule ushuhuda utaona huo ugonjo unapoweka. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. Or maybe you have been waiting for a child for Two years. And you came to church. Somebody say, "I and my husband have been believing God for 15 years." Ukaskiam tu na sema mina mwangu tu mmoja mungu kwa yada kumi na tano na mungu katu tembele. By hearing 15 years waiting. Kwa kusikia uko kungoja kumi yada kumi na tano kwa mtoto. Kavu kusikia demi waku baby. Na wakibeba mtoto wakimiujiza utajiambia mwenyewe if god can do 15 years kama mungu anaweza kutenda kwa miaka 15 my two years is a small time miaka yangu miwili ni michache sana is built imani yako inajenga that's one of the reasons we share testimony hiyo ndio sababu kwa nini tunatoa shuhuda that's one of the reasons we read testimonies hiyo ndio sababu kwa nini tunazisoma shuhuda in order to build the faith of others ili kuweza kujenga imani za wengine somebody shout hallelujah haza hallelujah 
Even as I was sitting here now, Hata I opened the email and I saw testimonies sent by God's servant. Ni kafungua barua pepe na nikaona shuhuda ambazo zimetumwa na That will be reading it from this midweek and covenant of prayer and every one of them is on the healing. Ambazo zitasomwa sasa na kanisa yake kwa maombi na zote zinahusiana na uponyaji. You the fate of people. Ili kujenga imani ya watu. Concerning what is happening in the world today. Kuhusiana na kile ambacho kinatokea ulimwenguni leo. It's unfortunate that many people have forgotten. Watu wengi wamesahau how God healed them of sicknesses and diseases. Namna Mungu alivyoponya magonjwa huko nyuma. What the doctors told them about that sickness and disease. Wamesahau madaktari upoambia juu yao magonjwa yao. And why are they afraid of this one? Sasa kwa nini wanaogopa hili? Despite the medical report against their health. Bila kujali ile taarifa kidaktari kuhusiana na afya dhaa. Go heal them. Mungu aliwaponya. Let your testimony of yesterday. Ule ushuhuda wako wa jana build your faith for the challenges of today. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you don't know what else God can do for you, or if you don't know what a God will do for you, remember what you have done in the past. Remember what he has done in the past. And he is unchangeable. Malachi chapter 5 says, "I am the Lord; I change not." The God that did it yesterday have not changed. He will do it again. Somebody shout hallelujah! Remember when he looks as if he will not marry. He looks as if everything is against your marriage. Like, like play, like play, you got married. Use that testimony. Utumia uo shuhuda. To build your faith. Kujenga imani yako. Maybe you are facing delay now of child bearing. Labda sasa unakawia kupata mtoto. If God give you husband. Kama mungu alikupa mme. He will give you a child. Hata kupa mtoto. Don't disturb yourself. Usijiangaishe. Use your testimony if you don't remember the testimony of others. Tumia uo shuhuda na kumbuka shuhuda za wengine kujenga yu imani yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haz hallelujah. That's one of the ways we build our faith. Yu ndo moja anji ambao suna jenga imani yako. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Remember that testimony as is as potent as the blood of Jesus. He said we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. You can overcome every challenges by the testimonies of others and your own testimonies. Somebody shout hallelujah. Number two. How do I build my faith for a fight? You must beware of going after other gods. You must be to build your faith. You must beware of going after other gods. In other words, what are we saying? The mystery of faith. Siria iman delivers on the absolute dependency of God. Inachilia katika absolute dependency on God. Inatimiza kumtegemea Mungu peke. Psalm 62 verse 5. Zaburi the Bible says, "My soul, nafsi yangu, upon God." Umgoje bwana. My soul, wait thou only, only upon God. Nafsi yangu umgoje Mungu peke. For my expectation is from Him. Tumani langu utoka kuake. When you, when you have alternatives. Ukiwa na mibadala. Your faith is destroyed. Imani yako inaharibiwa. Faith is either absolute or it is fake. Imani imtegeme mungu peke yake au siyo imani tena. Beware of going after another God. Uwe makini na chukua taadhali kuendea yungu mingine. When we see a lot of Christians, their faith is crawling on the ground. Cannot go up. Sababu imani ya Kristo wengi ina ni akutambaa tu aikui. Ni kwa sababu yami bada la mingi waliona. Church on Sunday morning. Yuko kanisa ni juma pili asubuhi. On Monday to a witch doctor. Na juma tatu kwa mganga. One prayer house or the other. One prayer house or the other. There are many Christians. Every prayer house and every witch doctor in the town they know. Kuna watu wengi ambao wanazunguka nyumba mbalimbali za maombi na kila mganga mjini anajulikana huko. Hawezi kujenga imani kwa namna hiyo. Kuna baadhi ya maeneo ukienda, wataitoa imani yako wa kuiangamiza ile imani yako. Kabla hujaona vizuri unaanza mwanzo kabisa. It just like somebody in grade 7. Ni kama mtu uko darasa 7. Maybe you are in grade 7 in your school of faith. 
uko darasa la saba kwenye shule yako ya imani. you enter somewhere. Na ukaingia tu mahali. By the devilish encounter you will have there. Unakoenda uko nakutana na shetani. They bring you down to baby class. Na shetani anakuvuta wewe na kukupromosha mpaka chini unaanza chekechea. Start afresh from baby class. upya kabisa. Before you reach grade 4, you go back again. They bring you down. Kabla hujafika darasa la 4, unarudi tena chekechea. Somebody Chezo shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. Please be aware or going after other gods. And beware of the cause of serving other gods. Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 to 5. That is one of the commandments God gave to us. A lot of souls are following a lot of people because going after other gods. Psalm 16 verse 4. Zaburi 16:4 The Bible says the sorrow of them Psalm 16 verse 4 16, Zaburi the sorrow their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another god Uzuni zao zitaongezeka uambadilio Mungu kwa mwingine Devil cannot give you anything pleasant Shetani hawezi kukupa chochote cha kupendeza Every good and every perfect gift Kila kitu kizuri kilichokamili kutoka kwa Mungu comes from God kutoka kwa Mungu James chapter 1 verse 17 I said, I said one day here that if the devil give you a child, he's giving you a demon. He, you can't see any good thing comes from the devil. Wait upon God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember the story of God's servant. God told you, you have two eyes. Can you make one to look up? And another one to look down. At the same time. He said he tried it. He didn't walk. And God said, any time you are looking onto a man, you are not looking onto me. They look onto me. They were enlightened. And their faces were not ashamed. Psalm 34 verse 5. Look unto God only. If it is delayed. He's preparing a bigger one for you. Testimony delayed is not testimony denied. God is taking time to prepare a bigger one for you. Have absolute faith in God. And he will never put you to shame. Somebody shout hallelujah. Romans chapter 10 verse 11. Rumi. I've never seen anyone that believe God absolutely that can be put to shame. See what the scripture says. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. He shall not be ashamed. It is good to wait on God than to try to assign God. You can't do that. Abraham tried to help God by get, going after his own way to get Ishmael. Ibrahim he became a problem to the to the When you want to be faster than God, you will get Ishmael. Just wait on God. Don't be running around town looking for who will see vision for you. Some of them have registered into their occultic world without you knowing. Kuna baadhi wameingia kwenye maroo mengine bila kujua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit on the word of God and wait for his fulfillment in your life. The Bible said, though it tarries, wait for it, it shall surely come to pass. Somebody say amen. I'm not hearing a bigger amen. Go and destroy all alternatives and wait on God. God's time is the best. God's time is the best. Somebody say amen. But what are the characteristics of faith that work? Number one. It must be offense-free faith. Offense-free faith. Faith that is void of offense. Matthew 11 verse 6. Jesus said, Blessed is he that is not offended in me. 
Offenses is an enemy to your faith. Makwazo ni adui wa imani yako. You know what water is to fire. Unajua namna vile ambavyo maji yapo kwa moto. That is what offense is to your faith. Ndivyo ambavyo makwazo yapo kwa ile imani yako. When you put fire and put water. Ukiweka moto na maji. Pour water on that fire. Na ukamwaga hiyo maji kwenye huo moto. The water will quench the fire. Huo moto hayo maji yatazima moto. That's why when you are or when you carry offense in your heart, it quenches your faith. It makes your faith to fail. Your faith cannot be built with offenses. And one thing you must understand as a believer, opportunities to be offended must come Luke 17 verse 1. Opportunities to be offended must come. Zile makwazo yatakuja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then said he unto the disciples. Kaambia wanafunzi wake. It is impossible but that offenses will come. Makwazo yanabudi kuja. Be woe unto him to whom they come. Lakini ole wake mtu yule ambaye yaja kwa sababu yake. You will be offended by your fellow human being. Unaweza kukwaza na wenzako. Please offense opportunity to offenses will come even in a church makwazo yatakuja hata ikiwa kanisani but don't allow offenses lakini usiruhusu kukwazika hallelujah hallelujah and not hearing a big hallelujah Maza hallelujah we we find out most of the time one of the things that causes offenses wakati mwingi tunaona vitu vinavyosababisha makwazo negative experiences ni mambo mabaya when Christians have negative they are offended in god watu wengi wamepitia mabaya wamekwazwa na mungu they began to think god hate them god was not kama mungu anawachukia they began to think that god like one other and hate them wanaanza kuona mungu anaupendelea wanampenda huyu wanampenda huyu they feel expectations causes offenses and unforgiveness also causes offenses. Na hayo mambo ya kutokusamea yanasababisha makwazo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please no matter what is happening. Tafadhali haijalishi nini kinatokea. Don't be offended in God. Usikwazike kwa Mungu. Don't be offended in the church. Usikwazike kanisani. You must not have your way every time. You must not have your way every time even in your office. Hata ukiwa ofisini usikwazike. Many people have lost their promotion because they are offended in their boss. Watu wengi wamekosa kupandishwa vyao kwa sababu wamekwazwa na mbosi wao. Offenses will come but don't allow it. Makwazo yatakuja lakini usiyaruhusu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Haza hallelujah. Offenses will come in church. Makwazo yatakuja kanisani. Church is not a place you do whatever you like, especially this commission. Kanisa sio sehemu ya kufanya unachopenda hasa katika huduma hii. Don't do what you like, you do what is right. Haufanyi chochote unachopenda unafanya kile kilichosawa. What is convenient you do what is commanded. Haufanyi kile ambacho kinakupendeza wewe, unafanya kitu kilicho sahihi. Many people got offended and they went with the devil. Watu wengi wamekwazika na wakaondoka. Many people went left their city of refuge because of offenses. Watu wengi wakakimbia miji yao makimbilio kwa sababu ya kukwazika. The cure of offenses is what apostle Paul said in Acts chapter 24 verse 16. Matayo Matendo 24 chapter 24 verse 16. Matendo 24 verse 16 ndio tiba He said I hear me do I exercise myself. You need to exercize yourself. Nami ninajizoeza unahitaji to have always a conscience. Ili niwe na dhambi of offense toward God. Isiyo na hatia au makwazo mbele za Mungu. Many people are here they can be blessed because they are offended in church, they are offended in the leadership, they are offended in the pastor, everything they are offended. Watu wengi hawezi kubarikiwa kwa sababu mioyo yao imejaa makwazo, wamekwazo na wachungaji, wamekwazo na Na imani hawezi kujengeka ukiwa na makwazo. Exercise yourself not to be offended in God. Isoweze kutokwazika kwa Mungu. Offended in man. Isoweze kutokwazwa na wanadamu. And your faith will be built. Na imani yako itajengwa. Somebody say amen. Baza amen. And number 2. Number 2. Kavatavisi of faith that work. Sifa za imani itendayo kazi. It must be Bold speaking faith. Lazima yoy imani ya inaotamka kijasiri. Do faith must be speaking faith. Imani ya kuele ni imani na yotamka na yone. If you don't speak it, it means you don't believe it. Usipo ise mau ine na manaki ya wami. Speaking is the only way to prove that you believe. Kune na ninji ya peke ya kusibitisha kwamba unami. Psalm eighty one verse ten to fourteen. Zaburi kumi na nane. He said, "Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it." Fungua sana kinyo chako nami nitakijaza. If you don't speak to your situation you will not get solution. Kama hauitamki ile hali yako uweze kupata solution. If you don't speak to your mountain. Usipo unene mlimo mlimo wako uweze kuondoka. It is what you say. Ni kile unachokisema. Give expression to your faith. Ndicho ambacho kitahirisha imani yako. Speaking faith is a living faith and is a winning faith. Imani inayotamka na kunena ndio imani ya kweli na 
in, in and understand that bold speaking faith is God's kind of faith. God's kind of faith. In Mark chapter 11 verse 14 the story of Jesus he went to the fig tree to have something to at least quench the hunger and he found nothing in the fig tree he spoke to the fig tree he said no one eateth food from you forever I say Mark chapter 11 verse 14 and the Bible says he said, no man eat food of the dear after forever. And his disciples had him. It was not whispered. It was both speaking. Somebody shout hallelujah. And in verse 21. Verse 21. Another day. The past two to that place. Peter, Peter calling to remembrance. Say unto him, Master, behold the fig tree Tazama, tini. which that cursed is withered away. And that's why we are taking time to cause coronavirus from his root. You speak against it and say, Dried up from the root. And Jesus told them yes, in verse 22, Have faith in God. Yes, which is being interpreted have God kind of faith. And everything God believe he speaks. And, and in verse 23. So if you will say to this mountain. If you will say to this mountain. And he didn't say he didn't say the pastor, the bishop, the, he said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Coronavirus is a mountain that we must speak to this time. That barrenness is a mountain. That delay is a mountain. Whosoever will say to this mountain, be thou removed. Moka. A be that cast into the sea, bari. and shall not that in his heart. Wala si he shall mwani believe mwani. that those things which he says shall yale. come to pass. He yake. shall have whatsoever he says. We are in the kingdom. That if you must have it, Ambao, you kukipokea, must say it. If kwa. you don't say it, Usposema. you will not have it. Don't tell me I just believe it in my heart. No. To the heart, man, believe it. Kwa moyo mtu but to the man, confession is made. Kinyo Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Warumi kumi kumi. It is not faith. See, imani. Until you declare you boldly. Nimbaka it is not faith. Bado Until kwa imani. you declare it boldly. Baka Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz, hallelujah. But let me know what happens when you speak. Nini kina when you speak boldly in faith. Ukitamka kwa when, ki imani. when you speak boldly in faith. Ukitamka kwa imani. Oppositions are silence. Upinzani una zimwa. Oppositions are silence. Upinzani una zimwa. Psalm 18 verse 44 to 45. Zaburi kuminanane arubainane. As soon as they hear of me. Walipo nisikia. As soon as they hear of me. Walipo nisikia. They shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Okusikia tuwa barizangu mara wakaniti wageni walikia wakini. That sickness in your body is a stranger. You need to hear your voice. Wako huyo ni mgeni. The next verse. Stari unaufuata. Strangers shall fade away. Wageni nao walitepetea. And they will be afraid of their close places. Walitoka katika ngome zao, wakitetemeka. When the commission moved his headquarters to Kenalan, a place that is known as the den of witches. Very wicked witches. There is an update that when somebody is wicked, they say as wicked as other witches. Because the man will go there making brutal declaration. So any witch that fly here, you are dead. Somebody shout hallelujah. And every one of them are afraid. They fade away. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Speak to your situation. And the situation will bow. 
na hiyo hali itaondoka somebody shout hallelujah Maza, hallelujah what happened when you speak boldly? nini kinatokea unapotamka when you speak boldly you are justified ukitamka kiujasiri unahesabiwa Isaiah 47:26 saya 47 declare that that may be justified tamka ili uweze ku declare it you will be justified tamka nayo utahesabiwa haki Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 Matayo 12:37 And finally when you speak boldly in faith Na unapotamka kiujasiri kwa imani God confirm what you say with testimonies Mungu anathibitisha ulicho kitamka kwa shuhuda God confirm what you say with testimonies Mungu anathibitisha ulicho kitamka kwa shuhuda Acts chapter 14 verse 7 Matendo 14:3 Acts chapter 14 verse 7 Matendo 14:3 Acts chapter 14 verse 7 Matendo 14:3 And he say long time therefore abode Basi the, speaking boldly in the Lord which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands until you declare it God will not confirm it God will not confirm it God will not confirm God will not confirm it Mungu Somebody shout hallelujah. Faza, hallelujah. He confirmed the word of his servant. Uthibitisha neno la mtumishi wake. And performed the counsel of his messengers. Na kuyatimiza mashauri ya wajumbe wake. Isaiah 44 verse 26. Isaiah 44 verse 26. Understand this. Fahamu ya kwamba. God is not moved. Mungu hatendi. Except the word we speak. Baka tumetamka. That's why we are declaring. Ndomana tunatamka. And we continue to declare. Endelea kutamka. Until the mountain called coronavirus clear way. Baka umlimo na ito coronavirus umondoka. Somebody say amen. Paza amen. Stand up on your feet. Sumama kwa migu yako. Stand up on your feet. Sumama kwa migu yako. Offense free faith walk. Go speaking faith walk. Lift up your voice and give him all the glory. Ila imani ya kutamu kwa kiujasiri inatenda. Isiwa kalabo shiaba. Thank him. Shukuru. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Shukurum, shukurum, shukurum. Remember, you build your faith through testimonies. You build your faith by ignoring going after another God. Camping with God. Saying to God, whatever you cannot do, let it remain undone. Wherever you cannot take me, may I never go there. Not giving it to the genius of the devil. But standing strong in faith. Lift up your voice Simple and give it all glory. If you are blessed today, thank him. Your faith will not remain the same anymore. Your faith will not remain the same anymore. Jesus, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your faith come alive. If you must win that battle of your life. Build your faith daily. By the word of God. Prayer and fasting. Omba, funga, especially praying in the Holy Ghost. Hasa kuomba Reading romba, anointed katika. materials that will Soma help you build your faith. Mafuta. And exercise your faith also. Na Put your kia. faith to every challenge you have and it will clear off. Embu yako kila na ita, if you exercise your faith, it will go up. If exercise your faith, it will go up. Somebody shout hallelujah. Aza, hallelujah. But if you are not born again, faith. It's not there already. It's not there at all. In the school of faith, your registration in this school begins by salvation. By salvation. And you need faith. No one can do without faith. Unless you can do without God. If you cannot do without God, you cannot do without faith. That's why you need to surrender to Jesus. Wherever you are listening to me, in two minutes, I want to give you opportunity. Maybe you are watching with your PC or any tablet you are using on your own. Or maybe you are in our centers. Wherever you are, you want to surrender to Jesus. Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your word. I know I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. 
Okoe na kila matendo Today, ya haki. I receive you. Leo ninakupokea wewe. As my Lord and personal savior. Kama Bwana na mwokozi wangu. Come and take your place in my life. Jo utawale maisha yangu. I declare today. Ninatamka siku ya leo. I am now born again. Kwamba sasa nimeokoka. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Let the church shout a louder amen. Kanisa tupaze amen. I want to pray for you. If you pray this prayer with me, come forward here. Let me pray for you. Kama muombe mbili njo hapa mbele nikuombe. And if you pray this prayer in all our visitors center, go to the front there they will pray for you. Na kama uko huko kwenye vituo vya you know you are here, you pray that prayer of salvation. Please come forward, let me pray for you. You pray that prayer, come forward, let me pray for you. Anyone like that, please come, let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. And Jesus will give you rest. If anyone is in Christ Jesus, the Bible says, all things are passed away. And you will experience a new beginning. Stretch forth your hand toward the communion now. It's a communion of preservation and protection. Anything that cannot survive in the body of Jesus cannot survive in your, in your own body. Because the word communion means common union. Or what they call in, in Hebrew, colonial. That, that is common union. Union. communion brings us into common union with Jesus. That's why that word communion is a, a compound word, it's a two word. Common Domana, and union. Anytime we come to the table, communion table, we are coming to camp with Jesus. Fellowship with Jesus. That whatever he is, that is Yesu. what we are. Lift up your voice. If coronavirus cannot come near Jesus, it's not permitted to come near us. If Jesus, all through his earthly ministry, there was no sickness surviving his body. He went about healing. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all. No, that there is no sickness is permitted in your body. Lift up your voice and decree. Lift up your voice and decree. In the name of Jesus, as I partake of this communion, I decree preservation. Me and my family, we are preserved. From the scourge of coronavirus, we are preserved. 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 No sickness is permitted in our body. Father, we decree by this communion. Let our body be celestial bodies. Let our body be immune to sicknesses and diseases. Whatever that is can, that cannot survive in the body of Jesus is not permitted to survive in our body. And anything in our system, Lord, you have not planted. Let them be rooted out. 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 I decree, Father, this is now your table. The flesh and the blood of Jesus. And it's a communion for preservation. A communion for protection. A communion for divine healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this communion, we are preserved from the disease called coronavirus. We are preserved from every terminal disease. From every terminal disease. Lord, we decree whatsoever that cannot survive in the life of Jesus is not permitted to survive in our body so shall it be it is blessed in the name of God the Father out of the Son and the Holy Spirit and let there be instant testimonies today let anyone seek under the sound of my voice be healed via this communion today in Jesus name come with your faith and partake of the virtue in the communion why the choir ministers? Ushirika huu wakati kwaya inatuhudumia. Alimaliza, alimaliza, yote alimaliza. Pare kalivari, yote alimaliza. Alimaliza, yote alimaliza. Pare kalivari.
and appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody bless shout a louder amen. By the word you have heard and by the communion table today. Everything that followed you to this service that is not of God. Clear out of your body now in the name of Jesus Christ. By this communion and by the word. I decree. You are preserved and protected in the name of Jesus Christ. I hand you over to God of this great commission. No evil shall be for you and your entire family this way. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this time of challenges in the world. Shall be your own time of supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. In your business and in your career. I decree. You shall see the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree again in the name of Jesus. Put upon your people again. The mark of exemption. The mark of exemption. And let your people be exempted. Love from coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ. As we have prayed. I decree. Let the land of Tanzania. Reject this virus and entire in the name of Jesus. And we decree. It shall spread no more in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall spread no more in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall spread no more in the name of Jesus. And we pray Jesus. Very soon. Punde we shall hear that it is no more on the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the government of the land. We decree fresh release of wisdom. Fresh release of wisdom to handle this matter in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that you strengthen them in the name of Jesus Christ. The decision they have made Jesus, they will not be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. The decision they have made to will take this country to a greater height in the name of Jesus. No one will die in this country as a result of this sickness. Anyone that been confirmed positive of coronavirus, we decree the healing power of God to make them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are going out and coming is covered by the blood of Jesus. You shall go and return with testimonies. You shall go and return with testimonies. You shall go and return with testimonies. No evil shall be for you and your entire family. God will give his angel charge over you. He said a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. He shall not come near you in the name of Jesus Christ. He shall not come near you in the name of Jesus Christ. The heaven over you is open for financial overflow. In this season, it shall not affect you financially. You shall experience financial surplus in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in peace. And the God of this great commission go with you. In Jesus name. I hand him over to you. And I know there is nothing handed over to him that can be touched by the devil. And on this coming Sunday. You shall return with your testimony. In Jesus name. It is my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen or ear heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen.